Today, I'm going to show you how to match fonts in Photoshop. Hey guys, and welcome to Flurn. My name is Aaron Nace, and you can find me on flurn.com, where we make learning Photoshop and photography fun. And in today's episode, we're going to show you how to match fonts in Photoshop. Now, this is a relatively new feature available for those who are using the Adobe Creative Cloud Photoshop CC 2015. It's really simple to use. Basically, you can use the selection icon, select over a font, and go up to font and down to match fonts. You can load up fonts that are in your current library as well as add new fonts from the type kit. In today's episode, we're going to show you how to update your software to make sure you have match fonts, show you how to match fonts and add them from Adobe type kit. All right, guys, we got a great episode. Let's jump into Photoshop. All right, guys, so here's our image for today. Let's say we got this sign from a client and they were like, okay, I, I like this, but I want to add a little bit of type down here at the bottom and I want it to match with the type that's already in the document. Now, in this case, it's just a layer. I don't have any of the fonts that are here. Maybe you pulled this off the internet or a client sent to you, whatever, you don't have the fonts available. So the first thing we're going to do is I'm going to hit T for the type tool. All right, and I'm going to click here on the bottom and we're going to type in dark roast. All right, and hit enter. Now let's say that we're our font here. Let's just go ahead and choose a font. There we go, something papyrus. There we go, that is definitely not, <laughs> it's not any of those fonts. Okay, now a couple of things here. We're gonna go ahead and center it. So let's go to paragraph. I'm gonna click here on the center align, and then I'm gonna use my marquee tool. We're gonna use our marquee tool and select out, here we go, from the left side to the right side of our little icon there. Now with the selection active, I can simply click on my type layer. Here we are. Go to my move tool and I can use the alignment tools here that are available to me. So we've got our align to top, middle and bottom, left, middle and right. So we're just going to go middle right here and it's going to align whatever's in this layer to the middle of my active selection. So in this case, it's good to go. All right, let's go ahead and hit Control or Command D to deselect. And if I just type in there, if I go to Light Roast, it's, there we go, it's going to be centered as well because I went ahead and center justified that. Okay, now we have Dark Roast. Let's say we want this to match our Espresso text. So let's click on our actual type. We're going to go to Character. You can also go to Window and down to Character to get to your Character menu. Okay, now here in our color, we can click on our color and simply use the eyedropper tool to click here and sample the color from our actual espresso text. Okay, now in this case, I want my type to match what's going on here and that can be relatively tough, right? There are thousands and thousands of different types. So we're going to use Adobe's match type. So what we're gonna do, we have our dark roast selected here. We're gonna go up to type and down to match font. There we go. Now we're going to get a little dialog box that basically says move these arrows around the font that you actually want to select. And we're going to add types available from Typekit. Okay, so let's simply drag our little arrows here. There we go. And we're going to bring it right around Espresso. Okay, and as we do, it's going to get a better and better idea of what fonts we're actually going to want to match there. Okay, now we have our font selected here. So you can see Dark Roast is currently selected. All right, we have our match font icon. Let's go ahead and bring this over there. Okay, now these fonts here at the top, these are already in my library. So the nice thing here is I can click on these fonts and it's gonna go ahead and load these. There we go, you can see it's gonna load them with my type because I have my type selected. So really nicely done just simply clicking on these because obviously it's guessing, right? It's like, <laughs> it doesn't know exactly the type that, you know, Espresso was written and it, it's doing its best job to guess. So you can kind of pick these and choose which are actually, you know, okay, cool, that looks good. Now we can also sync fonts available on Typekit. So in this case, let's say Proxima Nova Soft Bold. I don't know what that looks like, but we can go ahead and download that. So let's click here. Here we go, it's gonna say syncing types from Typekit. It's gonna add this type to Photoshop. There we go, and it's gonna go ahead and apply it right on here. So we'll do that a couple more times, Parkway. And then, <laughs> I don't know why it said that, because that actually looks nothing like this one. Okay, I think out of all of these, there we go. We're gonna go with, uh, we're just gonna go with Comic Sans MS Bold. And let's hit okay there. 
All right, so basically we've matched the type to the closest approximation we possibly can to the espresso text. Now, I'm going to show you guys how to get set up with Typekit because it really does help out being able to access all of Adobe's fonts. So we're just going to make sure you're signed in on both Adobe Creative Cloud as well as online to the Typekit. So the first thing you need to do is make sure that you're actually signed in with your Creative Cloud installer. So we're going to go right up here to our Creative Cloud. Okay, and here we're gonna see our different apps. So these are the apps we have running. Okay, next we're gonna click on our assets and we're gonna to go to add fonts from Typekit. So let's go ahead and go to add fonts from Typekit. It's gonna load up our Adobe Typekit here and you need to make sure that you're logged in to Adobe Typekit. And you can see I am logged in here under the same login that I'm logged in under my Creative Cloud. So if you have multiple accounts or if you're not logged in on either of these sites, it is not going to work for you. So again, make sure you're logged into both your Creative Cloud and right here, and it's going to work perfectly for you. All right, let's go ahead and jump back into Photoshop. So here we go, back into Photoshop, and let's try, now we're going to see if we can match this other font down here for the premium. So to start off, I'm gonna go ahead and duplicate my dark roast font. Hit Control or Command J to duplicate it, and I'm just gonna bring that straight down. Okay. Now in this case, we're gonna go ahead and click, I, I do want this to say dark roast, but we're gonna see about replacing this 100% premium right here, okay? So again, we're selected on the font that we wanna use. We're gonna go up to type and down to match font. There we go. And let's go ahead and click the corners. We're gonna drag these in, there we go. And the closer you can get to the font, the better. I'm just moving some things around so we can actually see. And I'm gonna leave the, the numbers out there, okay. So here we're gonna say, all right, that's our premium font there. And we can get an idea if any of the fonts we have included in our current, um, in our current package work, or we can try, let's go ahead and download a couple of these and see what those look like there. All right, looks like uh, sneakers definitely didn't do it for us. Here we go. But we can see this does work pretty quickly here. All right, let's go back to the ones we have actually installed. There we go. And, you know, we don't have an exact match, but I think Georgia looks pretty good. So let's go ahead and hit OK. There we go. Dark roast. And then we're just going to change this. I'm going to click on my color here. We're going to go to white. All right. And I'm going to use my move tool. We're just going to move that straight up and replace the text that we have existing there. So to replace this text, simply create a new layer. Click on your new layer icon. We're going to use our marquee tool. And I'm going to select out an area right over here on top of my text. We're going to hit B for the brush tool, and then I'm going to sample this, action, this color here. So B for the brush tool and hold Alt or Option to sample a color. You can also just use your eyedropper tool and sample a color. Okay, so now that we have our new layer and we have a selection, let's go ahead and fill this selection with this color on my new layer. Easy to do. Just go to Edit and down to Fill. Okay, we're gonna fill the contents here. We're gonna say our foreground color, right? Because we've already selected out this color here. So fill this with your foreground color and hit okay. All right, let's deselect and we're just gonna bring this underneath our dark roast. There we go. So here we have our dark roast right under there. And it's not the exact same font, but we are pretty close. And we can go ahead and make that guy invisible there. All right, so now we're finishing up with our sign and we've got espresso dark roast. And that's how we use match fonts in Photoshop. If you want to do the same thing, just follow these key steps. First, make sure you're updated to the current version of Photoshop. In this case, it's CC 2015 version 5.0. Then go ahead and log in to typekit.com as well as to your Creative Cloud installer. Once you're logged in on both of those, you can match fonts from your existing library on your computer as well as from typekit.com. To match your fonts in Photoshop, first I suggest making a type layer and actually typing out what you want to say in Photoshop. That way you get a live preview of what your fonts are actually going to look like. Then go to type and down to match font. Then move your selection around the type you actually want to match. Go ahead and get it nice and close. Then click down the list and you'll see a live preview on your type layer of your different fonts. If you want to add fonts from your type kit, simply click on those fonts, click on the little cloud arrow to the left, and it's going to automatically sync and update your font. And that's all there is to matching fonts in Photoshop. Thanks so much for watching today's episode, guys. I hope you enjoyed learning about fonts in Photoshop. If you love Photoshop and photography as much as I do, go ahead and click on your screen 
right about now. We'll send you free Photoshop and photography episodes every single week. And if you have an idea for an episode or a question or comment about today's episode, go ahead and leave it in the comment box right down below. We'd love to hear from you. Thanks so much, guys. I'll flirt you later. Bye, everyone. And make sure you're logged in to typekit.com 2015 version 5.0. And if you'd like to add them from typeclick, typekit. All right. All right.